In this module, we will discuss some SOPs for abnormal conditions. Exceedance of RNP operational limit due to insufficient guidance performance. Loss of RNP capability due to navigation system performance. Other system failures. Engine failure. Contingency procedure. In case of LDEV excursion, for example, excessive ground speed due to too high IAS or unexpected wind condition. Take over and center LDEV immediately. Further action depends on circumstances or operational situation. For example, in approach go around. In departure or missed approach continue climb. On the following slides, we will discuss engine failure at different stages during our NPAR procedure. Fly, navigate, before DP, activate engine out SID via automatic temporary flight plan or via secondary flight plan activation. Communicate. Consider using TOGA. Limited to 10 minutes. If an engine failure occurs at or after the DP, the SID shall be followed. Note. The obstacle clearance along the remaining part of the SID should have been verified in the respective performance studies. In case of LDEV excursion during departure, Disconnect autopilot. Take over and center LDEV. Trim the aircraft. Re-engage autopilot. If an engine failure occurs during the approach, the use of final approach together with the autopilot might be restricted depending on aircraft tape and or modification. For RNP values below 0.3, the autopilot is required. Refer to the FCOM limitation section. Note. The approach might be flown manually if the RNP value is 0.3. On the following slides, we will discuss system failures at different stages of an RNPAR procedure. The minimum required equipment must be serviceable before starting the approach. Note. The authority might approve deviations from the below list. Refer to your operational documentation. Single system failed on one side. Use the other side system and the approach can be continued depending on crew assessment and operator approval. Multiple system failed. Do not start the procedure or immediately initiate a go around with the most appropriate escape maneuver. This table summarizes the procedures to be applied in the listed failure cases. The main difference is the remaining navigation capability. The operator has to define a contingency procedure for specific failure cases like dual FMGS failure, FMS position lost. Typically, it is an extraction procedure go around using the terrain display on ND, training required, and or reversion to conventional nav and or use of backup navigation and or specific break-off trajectory 